Well, um, I was seeking for a certification um, that covers most of the cybersecurity fields. For example, uh, some fields that I do like, like for example, the IoT, the OT, SCADA, Active Directory, etc., etc. All these topics um, are actually rare nowadays to 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 find in a one certification. So I was seeking for a certification like this, and I found the CFINT one of the most, uh, if, if, if it's not like the only certificate that actually um, concentrate on them all together. So um, I reached one of uh, CPENT uh, or EC Council uh, partners asking him about the CPENT, getting get more information about it, etc., etc. And after that, he introduced me to the certificate um, through email. I found it pretty good, actually. Um, so what I did is simply I purchased the certificate and I introduced it to the iLabs, for example, for practicing, um, to also the, the party that holds the content and syllables, um, how to use them, etc., etc. It was fun. It was actually quite interesting experience as I spent about like two months preparing for the CPENT um, and I, I took some time to be honest to prepare for it because I wanted to make sure that I covered the content. The content was um, good. It was actually the most useful uh, 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 part um, of, of my preparing for the CPENT as, as it covers actually everything that could could come the exam but i also use some um, other uh, content available in the internet just to go deep into the knowledge because the knowledge that's presented in the cpent exam was actually very very um deep and very very uh useful for me so i wanted to dig more deep on that content so i i spent some time like learning and reading the content the videos as well practicing the labs that provided uh, by by EC Council, and after that, I decided to take the exam. Well, to be honest, it was like a little bit difficult, um, as the difficulty is not, for example, in how many rabbit holes are are there, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, but the difficulty in the in the um, techniques themselves. For example, um, when I uh, like join the exam and start doing the exam, I have like a huge infrastructure with a lot of IP addresses, etc., etc., and I should like pivot and do double pivoting, um, literal movement between uh, multiple hosts with different architectures, with different um, uh, operating systems, etc., etc. And that actually uh, like make it so challenging to take the certification. For example, the pivoting and, and double pivoting, you should uh, like seek for the host that um, have access to like um, the host that you want to hack and then hack the target host and then pivot to, to the host that you want to uh, 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 hack, which is actually was quite, quite interesting for me as it, it, it's actually uh, like a simulation for a real life scenarios and even in, in a big uh, and huge infrastructure. So it was challenging. Well, surely the first thing is the coverage. The exam and the CPENT itself are actually um, covering most, if not all, the cybersecurity field. Um, like, for example, the IoT, the OT, SCADA, um, even mobile applications, um, Active Directory, web applications, network penetration testing, etc., etc. All of these fields are covered in the CPENT which actually make it like um, uh, a great foothold for anyone who want to like dig uh, into multiple uh, fields of cybersecurity uh, in, in, in a single program and even dig deep on them. So the coverage was one of the most things that I really liked about the CPENT, also the support, the support in the exam and, and the support of, of the certification program itself was pretty good. Um, I remember that I faced some technical issues uh, during the exam and instead of like cancel on the exam or or uh, like uh, the fail or causing the failure in the exam, I simply postponed uh, the, the exam and they were very, very helpful for me. Um, the, the support was very, very helpful um, as I contacted the support and after contacting them, they simply um, 
they simply postponed the exam even even without without asking for them they helped me a lot the stability of the of the labs themselves also um, because uh, I faced no lags during the practicing lab or even uh, the the exam lab examination lab so yeah these are the more three things that I really liked about the CPENT program. Well, surely it did, as like the holders of CPENT um, got enough promotion after taking it, as the CPENT uh, holders uh, are actually considered uh, like um, they took one of the hardest and most challenging certificates in the industry. It covered a lot of topics and you should hack them uh, in a professional level and expert level even. So it did, it did uh, promote to me and to my skills, which directly affect my job opportunities and, 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 and actually affect my, my um, uh, reputation as well. The CPENT as mentioned, um, there is no, for, for now, there is no certificate that do what CPENT does actually. For example, you can find many certificates that only um, uh, concentrate uh, on a single topic or multiple topic uh, but in uh, like some sort of beginner level for example you can find a certificate that concentrates on network web application except flight development only N nothing nothing more but the cpent actually which make it very special it's actually holds everything like for example it holds like um uh the exploit development, the network, the mobile applications, uh, the web application, the IoT, the OT, the SCADA, the, the, the hardware, etc., etc. So it's actually there is no certificate that have the same, which make it so so special. So I found it one of the most uh, uh, coverage um, exam and certification programs in the world. So I decided to take it. It was very stable. Um, to be honest, I entered a lot of exams and took um, some certifications as well. And I can tell you that um, my experience with iLabs and CyberRange was very, very stable. I faced no lags. I faced, like for example, no no interruptions during during the exams, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The environment was pretty good and in in pretty pretty stable. So it was awesome. No, no at all. It was quite good actually. Uh, for example, um, when I, when I when I uh, took the CPENT uh, course material, first of all, I thought it was very very um, I, I thought it was very very overwhelming and it's gonna be difficult to cover etc etc. But after taking the courses uh, and after reading the book, for example, and after watching the videos, I found it very very good to be honest. Uh, for example, I found like there was no overwhelming if you if you read the book. Uh, the book and after reading the book you watch the, um, the the video that explains what's actually written in there it's not going to be overwhelming it's going to be very very sweet to take um, so for example you can set any time frame uh, you want for example for me five hours per day or four hours per day and you're gonna like finish it in about two months if you decided to dig more etc etc so it was got quite good there is no overwhelming or or anything like that. Um, each topic in the CPENT um, got enough explanation before going deep on it and, and hack it because in the CPENT program, and this actually makes it so special, uh, before you go and learn how to hack uh, X, for example, um, it gives you some introduction about how that thing works. So for example, if even if you have no knowledge about any any um, any topic in, in the CPENT uh, program or, or in the CPENT syllable uh, or material, you will be introduced to that topic in a very good way that will actually make you feel that there is no additional uh, there is no additional like for example material or, or information needed. You can dig more for information. I like to get more and more knowledge to be honest and that makes me uh, seek in, in the internet etc etc but in the CPENT exam and, and in syllable and course material itself there is, no, there is enough knowledge for you and enough introduction before going through any topic and then you can take any information that you want it actually provide you with the sufficient information of each topic before going uh, deep to it well in the CPENT everything was great what I wish to have 
in the CIP and in the future is um, like the detailed IoT exploitation. Because in the OT, sorry, the detailed OT exploitation. Because in the OT, actually, it was good, and they they very they they actually dig so deep in the OT uh, analysis, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I I wish if there was like a um, detailed exploitation for the OT arsenal development, all this stuff are going to be a very very big add to to the CPENT also. If we can, for example, add to the CPEN some sort of like um, steel play during operations, etc., etc., all of these stuff are actually are going to be a big add to the to the CPEN.